two identical rectangular prisms each have a height of 90 centimeters. The base of each prism is a square and the surface area of each prism is k centimeters squared. If the prisms are glued together along a square base, the resulting prism has a surface area of 92 or 47 k centimeters squared. What is the side length in centimeters of each square base? So there are some rectangular prisms which look something like this and we are given that the base of this rectangular prism is a square we'll just say it has side length x and that the height of this rectangular prism is 90 centimeter since this rectangular prism has a base of of square it means all of these sides on the base are x so and then we glue another rectangular prism that's identical to the first and we glue it along the bottom where the square base is so it'll look something like this and we're given that the surface area of this large resulting rectangular prism is 92 over 47 K okay so we can use this to solve for the value of K so the surface area of this jar large of two rectangular prisms is just 2 K since we're given that the surface area of each prism is K centimeters squared but since we glued them together on this square base right here we have to subtract that area from both rectangles because they used to have that face but now they don't so that would be two squares so two x squares and that has to be equal to 92 over 47 k since it was given that the area of this resulting shape is 92 over 47 k so let's move this 92 over 47 k to the other side by subtracting it from both sides. So 2 minus 92 over 47, if you put that in your calculator, is just equal to 2 over 47 k minus, so then we'll have the minus 2x squared and that'll be equal to 0. And if we move this to the other side by adding it to both sides, we'll get that 2 over 47 k is equal to 2x squared. And we can further simplify that to, to k equals 47x squared. So now we have that k equals 47x squared. But we were also, we can also express the surface area using x's and this 90 centimeter right here. So the surface area of this of one rectangular prism is the area of the base which is x squared but there are two of them so one at the bottom down here and then one at the top so we'll just multiply this by two then we'll add it with the area of one face so one of those rectangular faces the area is 90 times x but we have four of these on a rectangle so we'll multiply this by four so that's the surface area of one rectangular prism and that equals k since we were given that the surface area of each prism is k so now we can just solve use this equation to solve for another value or another equation for k so 2x squared and we'll just multiply 4 with 90 so 4 times 90 is equal to 360 so 360x equals k okay so now we can we have two equations for k so let's set k equal to k 
here, I'll write this equation over here, k equals 2x squared plus 360x. So now this is our second equation for k. So I'm going to, let's make some room here. Okay. So let's set k equal to k, so we'll say k equals k. And then we have one equation for k, that k equals 47x squared. And then the other one that says that 2x squared plus 360x equals k as well. So now let's move this 2x squared and the 360x to the other side. So we'll get that 45x squared minus 360x is equal to 0. From this, we can factor out an x, and let's see if we can factor out a constant as well. Is 360 divisible by 45? It is. So we can also factor out a 45. So then we'll just be left with an x here and then a negative 8 here, because 45 times 8 is just equal to 360. So then this will be equal to 0. So, and this gives us two solutions for the value of x. x either equals 0 or x equals 8. But x cannot equal 0 because then we wouldn't have a rectangle if one of the sides was of length 0. So we'll just use the positive solution that x equals 8. So one of the side lengths of this rectangle, which is we denote it as x, has a length of 8 centimeters, which is answer choice B.